In my inner sanctum? Was it a special occasion? I've been here plenty. Oh, really? Under a cover of darkness. You know what? We have to be together. I mean, really together before little Adam sees us share a room together. Yeah. Did I say there was anything wrong with cover of darkness? No. I actually think it's hot. Oh, you aren't hot? Mm-hmm. I've got Bella. Role playing? That hooker wig. No. Mm. Fusion's newest fragrance named after... Guess who? Arabella. Sweet. It is. It's a much lower price point than Fusion's regular products. And when Bella hits the market, Fusion is going to explode. No. Go back and start over. What are you supposed to be? Protection is key. Do you have the ingredient already? Do cows have udders? In this, I have the beauty I call Blast. The chemical additive that will tank fusion and blow your mind. You had to know that we would find out about Richie eventually. You gave Brian a reason to admit he loves me, wants me, only me. Emma will be fine with us, and when the new baby comes... We'll take that one, too. Toodles. But... It's over, Annie. You lose. Ryan? Ryan! Look, uh, you want a beer? I got some in the cooler. Oh! What the hell was that? That's for messing with my wife's head. What? Are you You're in love with her, Ryan. And I'm here to fix that. I'm here to beat it out of you. I'm not gonna fight you in. Oh, you're playing noble now, huh? You still like a good fight. Yeah, huh? I did, I did. I'm trying really hard not to be that guy anymore. You're just a guy that's been after my wife. You messed with her head for months. And now you want her back. My wife is right upstairs, Aiden. Yeah, and you're down here with me. Ryan, you don't give a toss about your wife. I made a promise to Annie Aiden, and I intend to keep it. You're never satisfied, are you, Ryan? First, you break her in your Ryan, where are you? You send her over the edge. And you make her do things that she hates herself for. And now she's happy with me. And you want her back. I'm happy that she has you, Aiden. Greenlee knows that. No, she knows that you're suddenly in love with her again. But what now? What are you going to do, leave your wife and your kids? What do you expect? You expect Greeny to drop me and go back out with you again? Stop, stop! Just listen to me, please, for a second. I don't want Greeny! I don't want her! What do you take me for, huh? <gasps> Did you miss me? Go away. I don't oh. want you here. I thought Lancelot was gonna look after you and the superhero fetus. But alas, here you are. Alone. Alone with the phone. And he's off with Greenlee, his lost love. No, he's not. He, Ryan wouldn't do that. Shows how much he cares about you and Junior. How's that humiliation? Is it cold and frosty? Take a big swig. Go back to hell! Will your blast work? I told you, it'll tank fusion so you can take it over. I never said a word about takeover. Come on, my dad's done this trick before. A little corporate sabotage. Wait till the lawsuit's hit and then step in and play savior. <laughs> Peter Cortland, didn't I ever teach you never to open the door to when Satan comes calling? He just came to see. If your son would leave my daughter alone. Oh, yeah. Palmer gave me an earful about that smooch our Casanova laid on Colby. <laughs> it was an assault. Oh, stuff a soggy sock in it, Adam. 
I wish to heaven we still had the Dobermans. Uh, your son and I need to talk alone, man to man. Man to snake, you mean. There is no way in heaven I'm leaving my boy alone with the likes of you. Mom, you're impugning my manly dignity. You want me to look like a mama's boy? Oh, oh, I'm sorry, my sugar plum. No, you are my full-grown man boy. I may be ill. I won't be far, Adam. You keep that in mind. Thanks. Take a seat, Adam. <clears throat> All right. You holler. I'll be here. Thanks. Move it. Bella is going to bring in a lot of money. Why would we ditch the idea? Because no one should link their personal name to a low price point. Hey, burger flipper, want you to wear my name. Along with that hat. Oh, you're such a snob. You're just as bad as your father, who came out of the coal mines, mind you. Ugh. Look, work is work. Okay, people who take pride in their work and their appearance, they deserve to feel good about themselves, too. Why, why shouldn't women who shop discount in bargain stores feel beautiful? You smell wonderful. Be, be sexy for their lovers. Lovers? I thought we were talking about working. Oh, we are. We're talking about work and lovers, friends, family, co-workers, kids. Everything that a woman deals with day in and day out. Look, if, if Fusion can help, if I can help, if I can make it a little bit easier or, or better or more awesome, then that is what I intend to do. There, there are enough TV shows and magazines out there that are saying that women aren't worth squat unless they are rich, famous, stick thin, and carry a designer purse. But Bella is there to say, hell yes, you deserve the best, and that is what I'm going to bring up. Dad! Oh, you! Carmen? Is that your shirt? Very nice. That is your shirt. Excuse me. How are you feeling there, Erica? Woke up in your own worst nightmare? Actually, I happened to have run into your dad and Carmen last night, and so I already knew that they were getting closer. <laughs> Closer is right. Now is not the time for this conversation. No, you're right. But what we do need to do is this. Erica, Dad has finally acknowledged that you two are over and moved on. Now it's your turn. Admit it. Go on. Get out of my face, Ed. Please just get out of my face. Now is truth time. I want to hear the truth. Come on. Leave it alone. Okay, just walk away and leave it alone right now. Leave it alone. I want to hear you say it. Leave it alone. I want to hear you say it. Leave it alone. I want to hear you say it. Out of your mouth. Come on! I love Greenlee! There! I said it! Well, marriage has certainly done nothing for your personality. <laughs> You're a jealous wreck and you can't stand to have a witness. Listen. Why don't the two of you take this outside and leave me in peace? Huh? Sure, sure, and I'll let you get back to Carmen. But you listen to me. You jerked my dad around for the last 20 years. He visits you in prison, holds your hand, stays by your side, and then when you get out, who do you run to? The slick politician with the spray-on smile. I always knew you had no sense. But boy, did you prove it all over again. You got out of prison, but my dad's the one who's free. Leave him alone. Brittany, you're done. Don't ruin this for him. You're done. No, I'm done. You're done. I'm leaving. I'm really happy for you. You love Greenlee. Yes, Aiden, for the same reasons that you do, all right? But you are married to her. She's your wife. I have a family, and that's not about to change, okay? Yeah, you know... No. You show up at our wedding, out of the blue. Do you really expect Greenlee to drop me for you? Green huh? Greenlee wouldn't do that, Aiden. No, you're damn right. Oh. Ah. Ah. What? What's the matter with you? What are you, not very smart or something? You think that Greenlee doesn't love you, Aiden? Come on, man. She's not interested in me at all. All right, you know how I know that? Because of the way she looks at you. The way, the way she looked at you when you got married. Every time she holds you, every single time. What are you, look at us, you, you watch us now, is that it? I was with her in the bathroom when she dropped her wedding ring in the toilet, you remember that? She asked, she asked me for my help because she didn't want to ruin her memories. All right, that's how much she loves you. And what, you try and talk her out of it, did you? No, I didn't. I didn't try and talk. I wouldn't do that, Aiden. I wouldn't. But even if I did, even if I tried, I couldn't. Okay? I couldn't possibly make her love me again, even if there was the slightest chance. Yeah, well, it's not right. There's no chance. 